And then it seemed like after that game, Stan was uh, especially proud of, I guess, the, the defense that, that you and Zion played. Um, just what was kind of your, your focus on that end coming in tonight? Just how do you think you and, and the team executed defensively? Individually, my focus was just to be in the right position. I think when I'm in the right position, in the right spots, then everything's just a little bit easier for me. I'm able to get my hands on deflections, uh, just being help and, and helping the other guys when they get beat on the defensive end. And, and um, I'm just trying to have a chain reaction with all the other guys. When somebody gets beat, so I'm the next guy over and um, the next guy's dropping or the next guy's going to the next guy. So we did that very well tonight. I think Zion was really good in pick and roll and everything that he did. Uh, he was really, really aggressive. And uh, that, that definitely trickled down to everybody on the team. My guard started it. Um, guarding the basketball, and uh, we just try to emulate what they do. Yes, yeah, this is Will from the Athletic. Uh, Stan said that he felt like this is two straight games. You guys played really, really well in the defensive end. Does it feel like you guys are really starting to make some progression on that end with what you're doing? It's, it's constant, steady progression. Um, we go back and we watch film on the things that we don't do so well, and we just try to come back and, and then have an urgency on that, um, whether it's off the ball defense, whether it's on the ball defense, just trying to stick to the game plan, read the, the guy that we're guarding every night and just try to be better. Hey, uh, it's Scott from NOLA.com. Uh, how much did, does a night like that from Lonzo help y'all? It seems like you are a different team when Lonzo plays that way. I mean, do you find him to be in some ways, like an X factor for this team, and when he has it going, that you know you guys are really difficult to beat. Well, he's the head of our team. Um, like I said, I think he he started him and Blesso started on the defensive end with that pressure, and I think that actually gets him going a little bit um, on the offensive end. He's in a rhythm. Uh, he's moving. Uh, he's pushing the ball in transition. Uh, he's getting to his mid range. So he, the last few games that he's he's been playing uh, have been pretty pretty good and. Uh, like I said, that's what we need from him every single night to, to help our team go. Is it difficult at all knowing that, like, you know how good you guys can be, and then there's also these trade rumors that are kind of swirling out there as well, knowing that this team could be changing drastically uh, over the next week or two. How difficult is that to kind of grapple with, especially when you play so well? Well, it's important for us to, to live in the present moment. Um, every chance that we get to come on the basketball floor, every chance that we get to, to get together just to – uh, take full advantage of it. Uh, I think, like I said before, the business handles itself. We come out and we, we, we enjoy the game of basketball and we play as hard as we can. And uh, we just try to get better and win each day. So, uh, like, the business will handle itself. And I think the way he's handled it, I know he he know his name is in rumors of, of being traded and everything else, but the way he's handled it uh, is pretty good. He comes in. Um, joyful and ready to play the game of basketball and he's there for all his brothers on the basketball floor. Yeah, it's uh, Andrew from ESPN. Uh, Stan kind of mentioned yesterday that he's been having some film sessions with, with just you and Zion and him. Uh, how, how helpful have, have those been? I guess what's been your, your biggest takeaway from those? It's been good. My biggest takeaway is um, just, just, just being self-aware. I think uh, just knowing every time that I go in there, that, I mean, I've, I've probably watched the film about two or three times before you actually tell me, but I'm, I'm self-aware of a lot of things, so I get to speak up a little bit and, and try to build a relationship with him, to try to build a uh, better relationship with Z on and off the basketball floor, and, and those relationships are important uh, for us to, to keep going in, in, in the upward, upward direction. So he just points out, everything that we can do well, everything that we can do better, um, and, and the things that we, we've done well to help our team win. And it's been pretty good. To the, I guess to the point of, of, of trying to build that relationship with, with him, I, I guess because everything that's, that's been kind of going on, I'm sure that building a relationship with him has kind of been tough, not being able to have as much time as, as you would like. So how, how much is, is that important to be able to build that relationship with Stan? I don't think time has been um, a problem. I think Stan takes all the time that he wants to on, when he's on the on the basketball floor. Uh, when he's in film, he, he's, he's going to get every point across. So I don't, I don't think that's a problem. I think 
I think we'll figure it out with the short time that we come to the gym and, and the time that we're in our hotel rooms. He'll, he'll figure it out. Um, Brandon, the, the two games before this one, it was it was really just kind of one quarter that got you in trouble. How encouraging was it that, I mean, it, for you guys, it was, it was all four quarters tonight? Well, like I said, the night the urgency was there. Like every time we came to a timeout, we was just talking about continuing to, to build the momentum, momentum and keep the momentum. So on the defensive end, we we locked in and we followed the game plan. And on the offensive end, we just ran the transition and got the best shot for our team. Yeah, and going back to the, the meeting with you, Coach, and Zion, just how, how conscious are you and Zion about the importance of that partnership that y'all are building and just kind of affect you guys have on the rest of the team when y'all are kind of linking together and playing together the way y'all do tonight? It's talked about. It's talked about pretty much every single day from Stan, from us, that we, we 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 continue to push each other. Even even now in games sometimes when we know we might come across a, a run from the other team or uh, just something not going well for our team, we continue to communicate with each other and just tell each other to just keep going. We tell each other that we're unguardable, unguardable. We tell each other that we can we can be really, really good defenders. So as long as we can continue to communicate it, it continues to get better. Hey, it's uh, Brett Marco AP. Just a quick question on Zion's last uh, alley oop and the one handed on the hop there. Um, kind of had to feel a knockout blow. Six minutes left, and Monty put all of his, his uh, starters out. Um, just wanted your thoughts on that play and how it sort of embodied uh, Zion's game tonight and the energy he brought and uh, the way he closed. What was your question again, sir? Just um, what you thought about that dunk and how it sort of symbolized uh, the energy that Tom brought and how we closed the game. Well, fortunately, that's something that I get to see all the time. Um, but it still has amazed me every time he, he does it. Um, he started the game really, really good. Uh, he was very efficient from the basketball floor. And he just saw everything go in tonight. Even the free throws, I think he hit a three. And that's definitely a the confidence booster for him, and I don't think he needs much confidence. But when things are going like that, I think it helps him continue to grow and, and be better the next day.